Hi, it's Carrie with Picasso Cat Treasures. Welcome back to my channel, my wonderful and very treasured viewers. If you're new here, you are treasured as well. Today, I'm doing something a bit different. I actually kind of sight unseen bought this huge amount of clothing from a person here in Napa. As you can see, it came with its very own wedding dress. It came with several pairs of shoes. <laughs> it came with purses. And so it was really fun when I walked in there. It wasn't the person showing me the, the items was not the person selling them. And he had a very distinct uh, German accent. He's like, I'm, I'm only here in Napa for a few days and just helping my friend and I'm going to be moving on to Montana. And I'm like, Montana. So <laughs> you're going to go from California, you know, to Montana, which I, I, I'm jealous of him because Montana is such an absolutely gorgeous state. Um, and I said, but you know, just, just for the summer, right? You're going to get out before the winter. And he goes, I'm from Bavaria. I'm not very afraid of it. <laughs> this is the nicest person. It, it was, it was just really funny because there I'm like, how will this person survive in Monte? You know, it's, he's like, this is beach weather to us in Bavaria. <laughs> you know? Also, I know you've all been dying to find out how I did on my 5k for uh, St. Patrick's day. I finished. I cut five minutes and 38 seconds off of my time. It was a gorgeous day and I ran the whole way. But the best part of the entire story is not that I finished. Everybody just was decked out for uh, St. Patrick's Day. There's men, women, everybody was in green tutus and shamrock headbands and everything you can imagine. And I'm jogging along. I, I, you know, I'm alone, so I didn't dress up. And I kept pacing back and forth with this one woman who was literally pushing a full grown man in a wheelchair while she ran. It wasn't a terribly flat course. It was pretty easy, but I would run. I, you know, I'm, I'm like the tortoise, you know, I just keep running along and a bunch of people will run really fast and then stop and walk for all and then run really fast. That's part of what they do. But she just was running and I was a full grown man in the wheelchair and he's, you know, a uh, fist bumping everybody because he's really excited to be there. And I'll be darned if she didn't beat me. She came in ahead of me by quite a bit. Now, yes, yes, she was probably 30 years younger than I was. And yes, she clearly was an athlete. I mean, she clearly was, but she was the sweetest thing. You know, she'd slow down a little bit and I'd sort of, you know, my tortoise, I'd get ahead of her a little bit and then she'd have to kind of work around me to get back up because it was a little, not a very big trail. And I would apologize and she'd be like, no worries, no worries. She never even seemed out of breath. I dragged my carcass over the finish line, panting. And this woman was pushing a wheelchair with a fully grown man in it running the whole time. And uh, so she was the true star uh, of the show. She and her, um, uh, the companion in a wheelchair, they just stole everybody's hearts. Wonderful. That's the reason I go out and do stuff like this because you're always gonna run into like, these people are there to have fun. When we were done with the 5K, we got in line and got our beer, you know, because you got some beer. <laughs> it was a gorgeous day. They had like Irish dancers and they had a costume contest. So you're there just to have fun. And, and we did. And she did a wonderful thing. Just people can be really great, can't they? All right. Moving on to the actual. I, I may have to break this up into two. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. I may break it up into two because it's a lot of stuff. You're not seeing if there's two or three more containers and all kinds of things. So I'm just going to start. This is all used clothing. I paid a hundred dollars for all of it. I'll try to keep count of how much there was, but it's probably, that's going to get a bit hard. And so we're going to start out with the wedding dress. Okay. This is a quintessential eighties. Um, I would say nineties, eighties, nineties, but more eighties. It has a couple of small, very small stains on it that probably could come off very long train. I have these boots. Now I love them. They love me. They're my size, right? Look at them. I don't know if you can see how glittery. I mean, they're wonderful. I'm just trying to think where I could ever wear. <laughs> these are not in as great a shape. They're suede, they're platform. I don't know who makes them. Let's see. They are sun and stone. Clarks. These are Clarks. So these are, these are worth something. They're very nice shape. Clarks shoes. If you've never worked in a service industry, you don't know how important Clark's shoes are. Okay. Oh my. But they're fabulous. Look at those heels on that. These are Baker's. They're platform stiletto. I mean, they've got it all. 
they have it all. So you want to go out there and you want to come home with the most aching feet you've ever had in your whole life. These are your shoes. <laughs> So last with the shoes, I have Old Navy flip-flops. They're size 10. So those are too big for me, but I can, you know, pass them along to somebody else. Here we have a Pacific Trail men's medium, really nice Pacific Trail jacket. But it's got multiple pockets. It's nice, and it's in great condition. There are no stains or anything. It is a, the, oh, it's a North Face jacket. Okay. So extra large. Let's let's take a look. Yeah, I've never I don't I don't know that I've seen this color before. Obviously, it has a couple of stains right there and I think let's, yeah, it's got stains on the sleeves. What I would do with this is I would get out uh Dawn dish soap and just apply it directly to the stains. Let it sit there for not too long, but you know, long enough and see if I can't get the stains out. If that can be cleaned up, that's worth some money. North Face is always worth some money. Oh, I'm sorry. A hub lot. Never heard of that one. A hub lot. And it's a button jacket with, oh, it's got stripes. I love stripes. And it's like a rain, beachy rain jacket. And it is a size medium. And it has a very, I think that's a very cool sleeve design. Never heard of that brand. Watch it. It'll be some like, you know, the yachting folk wear it. <laughs> A London town, uh, uh, what do you call these, uh, raincoat. It's like a, um, I guess you would think of it as a trench coat. I don't know if it's women's or men's. It, it feels like it's men's. I don't know why, but it just feels really heavy. And if you just wore it as Sherlock Holmes one year, you'd get your use out of it. I don't see a brand on this, but it's a zip up, like faux fur, black, jacket isn't that nice this is a kirkland jacket medium and it's uh sherpa lined gray wait i'm trying to make it look good here it's in really nice shape it's just a nice hoodie jacket with the kind of the sherpa lining timmins usa okay i've never never heard of that this is a black velvet gown oh my goodness it's a black velvet gown and let me show you, it has a very 30s vibe. It, look at that. It's got that real 30s vibe going. But I can tell you it's missing rhinestones. Bebor, it's a short dress. Kind of cute, little, I don't know, country girl style dress. Chaps, it's a chaps women's size 8 dress. It's, um, it's kind of a bodycon, but it's a thick fabric. It has a contrast trim there and then the contrast up here that's kind of a nice look jordan craig legacy edition extra large zip up hoodie another brand i've never heard of there we go. and it's got the sherpa lining again no i'm sorry fleece lining and then it's just a really nice color in overall very very good condition never heard of the brand but who knows it's a marona trench coat it's a raincoat Let's see if i can show it it's got button detail. It does not have a belt on it or anything. It doesn't have the trench style in the back, but it's kind of a trench coat. It looks super warm. It needs to be washed. That's about it. Other than that, it's in good shape. Okay. You know, I like me some graphic tees. Look at that. And I like bling too. So this could be it. It's called limited edition. I And it, and it has a dragon. It, it has everything. <laughs> it's got a... It's a, it's a triple threat. What appears to, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what, <laughs> oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. I am not doing this thing justice, but now I think you can see. So, but it's like a beach cover up. I love it. It's like the clown car of, uh, <laughs> of resale buckets. Just more stuff comes out. Cute. I like, I, what I love is the contrast of ribbon. That's really pretty. And then at the bottom, it's got some print and it has a layer of tulle. So I think that's real pretty. It is a Tommy Hill figure. Oh, okay. It's a Tommy Hill figure with the logo. Another coat. <laughs> this one came with a liner, obviously, and the liner is not there. It's a London Fog men's coat because I can tell by the size. 
there's no inner lining, but it's a nice, really nice piece. And we have another chiffon looking item here. Wait a minute. Sometimes clothes don't have a structure that I um, actually recognize. <laughs> it is a beach cover up and it's V neck, deep V front and back. Then there's the kind of a arm area and then fringe on the bottom. And it's, I believe it's a nice beach cover up. A Just Poly New York Extra Large Mesh Black Skirt. That's pretty. And it's lined. That would be something somebody, either a short, uh, either a younger person would wear, a much shorter woman, or me with leggings underneath. <laughs> Little crop top. That's cute. Sheen. Oh, it's a sheen for curves. This is for something, they, they have the curve line sheen. So this is a crop top, and it's in a peasant blouse style. This is just a nice scarf. Oh, I like that print. That's very, that's actually very pretty. Greatglam.com. Sexy, trendy, unique. But look at that. The contrast. Wild fable, medium size, waffle weave dress. So scoop neck, long sleeve, and a kind of short. Okay, so we're going to put that bucket away. Ugh. And we're going to pull over the next bucket. Ugh. Okay. Some more shoes. These are BF8, I don't know, polo looking. I think those are like an off brand you would get it from Shein or maybe Timu. Here's a nice Vera Wang purse. And it's got many compartments and it's a nice piece. And inside there was this Melrose wallet and it still has its tag on it. And it is in perfect condition with faux credit cards. And here's another wallet. Okay, I don't think this is a real coach, but they have the coach brand um, fabric, but I don't think it is because it, I don't see coach stamped anywhere or anything like it. So probably a dupe. They're Tommy Hill figure bags that you would travel with and this is a new purse with tags. It is genuine leather and it is a two-tone leather purse. That's a great piece because leather works forever. You know, you can use it forever and it just gets better with wear. Time and True. All right, it's a striped dr summer dress by Time and True. And so that would be something I would use as like a beach cover-up, but it's junior size, 12 to 14. So I wouldn't be wearing that. <laughs> Nope, I'm going to stay in my lane, right? I'm going to stay on my women's sizes. Here is a Venus full-length jacket in medium. And it's a uh, zip-up. Yeah, let me see if I can make it look better than this. It's a zip-up Venus brand. Um, just a nice peach-colored jacket. I'm not going to show it much. These are just wild fable pants, and they have cat for all of them because of my cat. A Calvin Klein dress. I think it's a dress. Yes. That's pretty. I like the keyhole back. Yeah, it's a robe. It's pretty. It's in a really pretty color. So it's, it's a like a satin like robe and it came the tie is tied on, so you have that. A Charlotte Russe dress. It's kind of cute. It's got that off the shoulder kind of look there. And next I have a nice sweater. It's a Baldini medium. It's just an open front cardigan right in a very neutral color and it has pockets it's got a couple snags but you would just either pull them in or cut them off but what i like about this top of this is i would take this uh faux necklace you know the necklace off but i like the illusion sleeves you can't see that but they're the sleeves are illusioned and they have this opening and then it's lined here and then you've got the skirt attached and if that's not too short, I think it's too short. But that's not a bad look. I like that. Annabelle medium. Annabelle medium dress. The panel dress, the side panel dress will make you look slimmer. Um, it should. Well, it should. And then it comes with its own belt that's part of it. An AB Studio size 8 jacket. That's a shame because I'm a size like 10, 12 jacket. But I really like the color of this. I'm trying to put a little more color into my, <laughs> if you'll notice most of my 
most of my clothing that I buy is often like gray and navy and black, you know, maybe white. I got I got to move onto the color wheel. I got to get on that color wheel and start wearing <laughs> a wild fable co coat, maybe. Yes. It's uh, just, you know, a nice blazer. This is an express size 12. I don't think it's in very good condition. Um, but it's a nice jacket, kind of a peplum jacket with a contrast trim. Then this is a North Face, so I don't know. I guess it's an under shirt to keep warm. It's got a built-in bra, shelf bra, right? So, but it's a crop. I, I can't read the label, but it's like a caftan-like open front. Um, what, I would say cardigan, but it's really not. I don't know if you can see that. This is a BB Dakota medium, and it is a sheer orange with black trim. Nice, really nice. I, I actually really like that. Some shorts. Next level stretch American Eagle shorts. And boy, we are not kidding when we say shorts. <laughs> but I have to say, I love this top. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. That's embroidery. You know, that's a lot of times you get stuff and it's just stamped on, but this is actually embroidered. Grand and green. Never heard of it. Medium. And it is a denim blouse. Whoop. We have, oh, a beanie. And it is not any particular brand beanie, but I might just wash that and keep it. I don't know. Rock and Republic. So it's another kind of a denim take, very soft shirt with the roll up sleeves. That's, that's nice. There's a huge mountain of clothes. <laughs> Billy White, that's the brand name. It's a very sheer top, and I'm probably not making it look good, with a tie. It's just a nice sheer day to day top. Society 212, and it is a sweater with some pretty lace. And there's some socks in here. I'm not going to go over the socks. Here is an Anna size large top. That's a very peasanty looking. That's actually really pretty. Very intriguing. We have a Madden NYC large jeans vest. <laughs> you could do something with that. If you wear something with confidence, people believe in it. So you could go out with this and confidently wear it. Well, I don't know what they are. Oh, Nike Pro Combat. But they don't look like men's. They look like women's um, running shorts. This is a Love Fire large shirt. Lined lace, kind of nude colored tank top. Flowing, very pretty. Kyodan. Kyodan. And it's a tennis or, I guess, pickleball skirt. Or you can wear it as the bottom of a bathing suit because it's got, you know, built-in shorts. Here I have a Banana Republic size small, uh, very sheer blouse. Oh, I like that. Those are neat because you can wear uh, something under that's intriguing. Like what you do is something like this if you want to go out in an evening and it's, you know, just this. It's very sheer, right? So you would maybe put on a sequin tank top. And so just the sequins sort of sparkle through. That'd be nice. Th why this is something you could wear under something else. It's not in very good shape, right? So it's not in very good shape. But um, can you see the front? So I would not even probably donate that. It is a blouse. Kind of in a cotton ramy feel fabric. Actually, I really like that. BCBG Maxes or uh, how do you say that? Maxes Ria. Max as I I don't know. I don't know. And it's just a nice top. I don't know if it's in good shape or not, but it's in re it's a really nice fabric. I love J shirt. So this would be the front. So the back has this kind of cutout style. And then I have one more thing. One more comforter, whatever it is plastic bag full of clothes. I would describe them as faux suede, like sweatpants. I mean, that's what they look like. Um, it's just like a vest, but it's an open front waterfall type design vest. It's kind of cute. 
It's a Tommy Bahama turtleneck, sleeveless turtleneck sweater. Uh, Chaucer, extra, extra large. And it is a hoodie, like a waffle weave, lightweight gray hoodie thing. What do you call it? Pullover, I guess. That's nice. I, this looks to be a sheet, actually. <laughs> Let's see. This is an Old Navy sundress. And it's really cute. Look at that. Pretty color. But unfortunately, it's really short. So it would be for somebody not my age. Oh, no nonsense. But it's real pilled. It's a really comfortable feeling. But it's a mess, really. It's a, another open front, sort of waterfall front cardigan over piece. On the back, it's got a really nice detail on the back. It's crisscross in the back. And then what comes down below is this clear um sheer fabric mickey he's it's really pilled i mean it's really pilled but <laughs> this would be an all-day task but it's a uh just a disney mickey mouse a dress maybe a dress of some kind it's a very odd dress what does it have on it i don't even know tiger is that a tiger it's got pockets that's one thing and it is a an american eagle outfitters and it's a tank top with palm trees on it this says need more weekends i'm retired so i don't really need more weekends but you know not a bad idea this is a time and true medium Wait. i have a pair of shorts that are athletic size large shorts men's obviously another sheet <laughs> oh a shelby cobra t-shirt it's smart something but it's it's a for shelby cobra i've got a mount like a mountain of stuff over there <laughs> and last thing is a dkny side uh, cross surplus top that was it that's the last right of everything in there so what i'm going to do is just sort through it and donate a lot of it immediately throw some of it away the rest i will wash and clean and either put up for sale on facebook marketplace or keep this is kind of a di different journey for me. Thank you so much for coming along and being a part of it. Please subscribe to my channel. It's really going to help me do more of these videos. I hope you have a wonderful next few days until I put another video out. And until then, keep your eyes open for treasure. Bye.